It's JC at Motorcycle Superstore with CD's Adventure Gore-Tex boot. This is the baddest thing they make for adventure touring, and this boot is awesome. I've had CD's Adventure Rain version, which is a little different, and trust me, this thing seriously is very good at what it's designed to do. If this doesn't want to make you get on a KTM 990, I don't know what's going to. Basically, you've got a very heavily off-road oriented style of boot. Now, let's take a look at the architecture because we're going to identify some things right off the bat that come straight from the motocross crossfire boot, okay? You've got these cam lock buckles, which are super sweet. Now, the nice thing about buckles when you're doing serious off-roading is that they don't get packed up with mud, or if they do, who cares? You're not worried about your zipper getting bound up, so these cam locks are really good. Hear that clip into place? It's very, very secure. Another thing, on the lower buckle, you've got this deflector right in front of it. Again, straight off the moto boot. This is going to keep debris, rocks, roost, whatever from coming up and causing this buckle to potentially come undone. Shouldn't happen. They're adjustable, so you can get these straps ratcheted down in place. The buckles themselves, you can see these screws, they're replaceable, so are the straps. So if you need to replace them because of damage, not a problem. Also, another thing from the boot, this single flex point. This is a hinged system. It's going to allow for instant mobility straight out of the box. It's a heavy duty boot, don't get me wrong. This thing weighs a lot, but you've got a lot of stiffness in it. And with that, you need to be able to overcome somehow in order to move freely. That's what the flex system does. Really easy to move around. What you're going to find, however, is that it's going to squeak like crazy. It's new, not squeaking right now, but when you have plastic moving over the top of a leather material, you're going to get that noise. CDs are notoriously squeaky. So lots of remedies for that. Some guys use WD-40 or whatever. However, be aware that's gonna happen. Now, on the top portion of the boot, heavy duty, hardcore shin plate protection. So you're gonna have a lot of rigidity there. Also, really burly, on the Velcro. So this is going to allow you to cinch it in place. You can put your pants inside or outside. It's going to make room for it. It has a gaiter that's not quite full length. The gaiter goes up about three quarters. Again, this entire boot has the Gore-Tex membrane, the gaiter included. So basically, you're not getting water in this. I personally have the CD Adventure Rain, which has CD's different membrane in there. Now, if this is considered the up-spec version of that, it must be impenetrable because I never once had my feet wet and this is supposedly even better. So, a lot of money, but like I said, top of the food chain for ADV type riding. On the bottom, big burly off-road sole. You're gonna find this on several of, of CD's boots. Uh, it is very stiff, so you're going to be able to ride off-road comfortably and aggressively. However, you can see that it's way more flexible than like a full off-road motocross style boot. So there's still a lot of comfort built into it. You've got the plastic panel across the top for your shifter protection, also on the brake side as well. Reinforced toe box, reinforced heel box. This thing is stout. Now, you see some screws throughout this. The, hin the hinge points replaceable, uh, the screws on the backs of the buckles we mentioned, but also here. So you can replace this strap as need be. Very. Uh, it, it's very durable and it's designed to work in extreme conditions. So in those types of conditions, you have damage, you can fix it. The inside of the boot has the Cambrel liner that we love so much, resistant to mold and mildew. This thing smells as fresh as it can even after years of abuse. The sizing on this, it ranges five and a half up to 13 and a half. So you can get uh, some fairly small size feet and some pretty good size ones on the upper end. Find out what's available for those at MotorcycleSuperstore.com. You can see all the different specs available there as well. Find out more information. Again, top level boot, top level price, but the flexing, the comfort, the durability, the really rugged off-road appearance. If you want to kick ass on a big adventure bike, this is what you pretty much need to be wearing. So check them out, find more details online. Don't forget to give us your feedback, see if you're pumped about them as I am. Also, subscribe on YouTube as well. We've got other types of CD adventure boots. Uh, you can check them out there. Thanks for watching. I'm JC and we'll see you next time.